Few things are as associated with the holidays as the Nutcracker, and this year Meadowbrook Hall is putting a unique twist on the ballet classic. Join me this morning to talk more about Michigan's only strolling Nutcracker are three of the performers. We've got Isabel, Alyssa, and Mary, and also the artistic director, I believe, right? Yes. Uh, Gina Dudash, thank you all for being here. And well, Gina, why don't you talk uh, first a little bit about the show and what is a strolling Nutcracker? Well, our, uh, the show this is the Nutcracker at Meadowbrook. Meadowbrook is a 110 room, 88,000 square foot mansion mm -hmm. located in Rochester Hills. And we have the only strolling version of this uh, full performance of the Nutcracker in the state. What that means is when the audience comes into the home, they travel from room to room in the mansion as the story of the Nutcracker unfolds. How cool. Yes, and instead of backdrops, the mansion serves as the backdrop. So okay. we are in various rooms of the mansion. It's very unique. And anyone who's familiar with Meadowbrook Hall may see some, uh, well, resemblances to the family that once lived there. Right. The, um, the home was um, belonged to Matilda Wilson Dodge mm -hmm. and the Dodge uh, children. And there's a portrait that hangs in the Great Hall in the entranceway of the home of Francis and Danny Dodge. We have outfitted our Clara and Fritz, um, Clara in this dress in the blue, to look exactly like the portrait. They also bear a resemblance. So when they come running down the grand staircase, it's almost like you're seeing a ghost and stepping back in time. Wow, very cool. Yeah. Now, Isabel, how long have you been dancing? I've been dancing ever since I was little. Okay, and what, what do you enjoy most about being a part of the Nutcracker? It's amazing, and it's like so like fun and like, I just get to, I just love to dance. Okay, and what about you, Alyssa? How long have you been performing? Ever since I was little. <laughs> <I dance well. laughs> pretty, pretty much since you could walk? Pretty much, Okay, yes. and, and what, what character do you portray in the Nutcracker? I play the Snow Queen and Dewdrop. Okay, and Mary, we were just talking a little bit about how you are Frances Dodge's character, kind of, a little spin mm -hmm. on that. <laughs> and tell us about her. Um, well, I play Clara, and it's really fun because I feel like I'm the little girl in the mansion, mm -hmm. and I love running down the stairs in the beginning, and it's really fun. Okay. Now, when is this taking place? Um, uh, the Nutcracker is November 14th, 15th, and 16th. Um, again, it's a very intimate setting, okay. um, only 50 tickets per show. And the entire first half, you stroll throughout the rooms, and the second half, you're seated in the ballroom. Okay. Uh, for the um, palace scene. So tickets are um, available by calling our ballet company and um, I could provide that information to you. Yeah, I think we'll probably have it on our website as well. And tickets start at $50, I believe, and go up from there. Uh, not, not recommended for children under the age of five, though. Right. Mostly because of the fact that it is in the They're very the hall. close to the performers in proximity, so they need okay. to really be able to, to stand still during the... Wow. Yeah, when they're so close. And but again, you said only 50 tickets for each show? There's right? only 50 tickets for each show. We okay. have four, and last year we sold out two, so we doubled them. What a neat this event. This year we have a new room that we're dancing in. It's the um, Mansion Sun Porch. We've got our stage hand over here just doing a little oh. <laughs> dance. Oh, you guys are ready to do a spin. <laughs> that, that's, that's the cue for everybody to do. So if, if there's some sort of a spin <laughs> or move, ballet move that you can do, then thank by you. all means we'd love to see it. But thank you so much thank for being you. here. And if you want to find more information, well, you can go to, I believe, Meadowbrook Hall's website. Um, or our website as well. We'll be right back after the break. Thank you.